Flashing lights and crime tape. It is a scene that's becoming all too familiar in the corridor over the last three months. And now with six homicides around Cedar Rapids since the start of the year, some people are saying enough is enough. Fox 28 News reporter Kevin Berry is live in Beaver Park where Stop the Violence Iowa is taking a stand. Kevin. Matt and Sadie, the emotion is still very raw in this neighborhood from Wednesday's double homicide, and that made it all the more powerful when the people who live around here took to the very streets that they say they need to take back from gun violence. It doesn't take a big voice to have a big impact. I can't go outside of school. Why is that? Because the shooting happened by my school. The reason I have these kids get in the middle of this circle, y'all take a look at these innocent faces. Every single one of these kids right now have lost somebody or been affected by this gun violence. There's nothing really that serious where somebody should lose their life. I don't want people to stop violence. This right here, how many of y'all want to be like him and feel that hurt? It has to stop. So after a prayer, they walked. Down the gun! Put down the gun! All the way to 1708 4th Ave Southeast, the scene of Wednesday's double homicide. Letting people know along the way that they're working to end gun violence in Cedar Rapids. Loudly. Stop the violence! Stop the violence! And one gesture at a time. Monica Simpson says she wants to do something like this every weekend, every Sunday afternoon, whether it's a march like the one today or just a cookout and a chance for the kids to play in Beaver Park. Anything to get the kids to come to one central location and put them in the spot with the same role models that they need to be around in order to get the guns off the streets. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Kevin Barry, Fox 28 News.